Uh, we also have another session in 30 minutes, so if you want to walk around and come back, can you do that too? Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Dugan. I work with the High School Connections Office as a career coach here at Fayetteville Tech. Uh, thank you for spending your Thursday evening coming out to learn about all the wonderful things we have for you. I am going to try not to um a lot, but I do do that, so apologies in advance. I'm also not going to tell a joke because I'm not very funny, so we're just going to get straight into it. So uh, today we are going to talk about what is High School Connections, what are the opportunities available, um, our connection to the high school, as well as why High School Connections, or we call it HSC, is a good option for your student and what the next steps are after you leave here today. So what is High School Connections, or HSC? This is an opportunity to provide college access to eligible students. And it's an opportunity for your student to jumpstart their career, um, whether they want to pursue a four-year degree after high school or if they are more interested in a career technical area. They have that option as well. It is tuition-free college credit that is transferable to the UNC system schools. Uh, we have articulation agreements with the UNC system schools, but we also have articulation agreements with some of the private higher education institutions. And often, I tell students if they're looking for uh, a, a institution that is not in our articulation agreement, they can talk to that institution. A lot of out-of-state schools will still accept the credits as well. And then earning stackable credentials, things that you can stack on top of each other, uh, to be more qualified in a career field. So what makes your student eligible? So if your student is currently a sophomore or currently a junior, um, so rising juniors and seniors, they need to have an unweighted GPA of 2.8 or higher. Um, there are waivers that can be written by the school counselor if their GPA is under a 2.8, but that is a decision based at the school. They do have to attend a North Carolina public, private, or registered homeschool. As long as they are a student in North Carolina, they are allowed to be a part of the program uh, for public schools and private schools. Some public schools that are out of county uh, have a little bit different rules as to which programs, but it is part of the state eligibility. You would complete your application, your enrollment form, which is what you would do to choose the program or classes that you'd like to take and the transcript, and then you do have to have the space in your high school schedule to accommodate the classes. Uh, if your student is going into their freshman or sophomore year, they can start the program prior to their junior year, but there are extra criteria that they have to meet. Our program is primarily designed for the juniors and seniors. However, uh, if your student has a 2.8 GPA or higher, unweighted. Um, they are in their school's AIG math and reading or has an aptitude test with a 92 percentile or higher in math and reading and qualifying readiness scores on like an SAT, ACT, those kind of things. Again, this isn't the common practice for our students in high school connections, uh, but it is an option if you do have a student going into ninth or 10th grade. Okay, the pathways is, is the, the meat and potatoes. That's the important part. So your student has to think about what do they want to do when they leave high school. And when they're in 10th grade or 11th grade, sometimes the answer is, I don't know. And that is okay. A great part about this program is that this program gives students the opportunity to explore things that they might be interested in to make that decision before they go off to four year or before they get into a career field and then decide, oh, maybe that's not something I'm so interested in. We have different pathways available. Our college transfer pathways are pathways where students are taking general education credit. These are those college transferable classes. Um, these are credits that work towards an associate's degree. This is not something that earns you an associate's degree in our program. That's more the early college side, uh, but these will move towards an associate's degree. And we have arts pathways, science. Uh, we do have teacher prep pathways, engineering, fine arts, 
And starting in the fall, we have a new pathway that will lead students that are interested in pursuing a nursing degree. We are opening that pathway, and that's new for our students in the fall. Uh, these pathways, the college transfer, will not allow a waiver. So if your student does not have an unweighted GPA of 2.8 or higher, they would not be able to go into these courses until their GPA was a 2.8 or higher. Our career technical education uh, programs, we have over 40 options for career technical education. Uh, they are stackable credentials. A student can take a certificate in the junior year of high school and then they can take a similar certificate their senior year or they can start working towards that degree's associate's degree. So if a student starts in business foundations, which is one of our certificates, finishes that, their senior year, they can start taking classes towards a business associate's degree. Uh, we have classes in business, we have information technology, so the IT world, engineering, human service, so that's kind of like your cosmetology, your culinary areas, uh, public safety, criminal justice, fire protection, things of that nature. We have several healthcare programs that offer clinical hours and uh, licensure. Uh, media and fine arts, and then of course our skilled trades, where if a student is more interested in maybe working with their hands, construction, plumbing, welding, those options are available to students as well. And these are the programs that many of them offer the GPA waiver. Not all of them, there's a few, but for the most part, I would say about 35 of the 40 or so will allow a waiver for your student to participate if they're under a 2.8. Uh, one thing about the career technicals, when your student does uh, pass their, their test for their certificate, they are invited to participate in the Fayetteville Technical Community College commencement ceremony as well. So they can walk in that ceremony. They wear their high school regalia. It's a, it's a fun experience for them. Uh, so the big question is, this sounds too good to be true. How much are you going to make me pay for it? So tuition is waived because the state of North Carolina is paying the tuition for your student to take these classes. There is a fee every semester. Right now it's $51. Uh, that's whether your student takes one class or takes five classes. It's just one fee per semester. Uh, our Cumberland County public school students, the Cumberland County Schools does pay that fee during fall semester and spring semester. If your student takes summer courses, that is your responsibility. Some of our private schools will pay this fee for their students. Uh, not all of them. We tell students to check with their administration and then homeschool students, of course, would be responsible every semester. Uh, the big cost that most people um, don't really think about is the textbooks and supplies. So tuition is paid for. Uh, for for most students, that fee is not um, a, a barrier, but textbooks and supplies are the responsibility of the student. Um, we, we reiterate that in every presentation that we do. We have it on all our paperwork uh, because some of those textbooks can, you know, be something that you're not expecting or some of those materials. So we do make sure students and parents are aware that textbooks are your responsibility and we will be happy to help you research the potential cost of a program that you might be interested in so that you're fully prepared for what it might be. Um, you do have to have those books the first week of class. That's going to help your student be successful in the class. Students that are getting their books three, four weeks into the class, they're behind on work and we definitely don't want that. And then of course the cost varies by program. You might be in a class that the book is $23. You might be in a class that the book is $87. Um, and of course your skilled trades and some of your more hands-on, you're actually buying the tools that will allow you to work in that field in the future, so sometimes those costs can be higher. In the long run, it's gonna save you a lot of money. Um, so we'll, we'll look at kind of cost comparisons in a, a couple of slides. So how does it fit my high school schedule? This is where it starts to get a little like, okay, that's a lot of information. Uh, we have what we call 5-H sections. Those are high school only sections. Um, typically they start at 1 o'clock here on Fayetteville Tech's campus and they follow the CCS traditional calendar. So whatever days CCS students don't have school, those, those students don't have class here on Fayetteville Tech's campus. 
Uh, some sections are offered at the high school. Some of our high, school, uh, high schools have our instructors coming out to their high schools and teaching a section during one of the blocks at their high school. Um, some of our high schools actually have some of their teachers contracted with Fayetteville Tech teaching. Um, and then, of course, we do have online courses available for students that maybe prefer online learning or don't have the room to come in person. Um, the big thing to know about that is it is asynchronous independent learning. So the student will be teaching themselves. Of course, their instructor is always there to assist them and available to them. But a lot of students, uh, when, when I first started, they were expecting more of a like, oh, I'm going to log in, my instructor is going to be on video, and that's not the case. So if a student is not strong in that, we do recommend that they maybe consider not doing that or consider their their school work balance. And then weekly assignments is how attendance is taken in those classes. Um, and then we have what we call in-person concurrent. These are regular Fayetteville Tech sections. A lot of our um, career technical classes might have these options. Um, a lot of our online sections, when our 5-H sections fill, we move them into concurrent. The biggest thing this means is that it's going to follow the Fayetteville Tech calendar, which is not a whole lot different from the CCS calendar, but um, the, per the instructor, we do let them know that they have high school students in the class, uh, but we like to let parents and students know that those classes will have traditional students in them as well. Um, so we try not to put students in those unless we have to, uh, but we do make schedule accommodations if it's what is best for your student. Getting to class. So of course I said that the most classes start at one o'clock, so there is bus transportation um, available for most schools. So Cumberland County Schools, all the schools except for Terry Sanford, uh, because it is so close, offer bus transportation to their schools. Some of our private schools do, um, and so we always just recommend students reach out to their counselor and see if it's an option that there's transportation. Um, students arrive before their class starts at 1 p.m. for the 5-H sections, and those buses leave at 3 p.m. to bring them back to their home schools if a bus is available for your student to come over for classes. Now, uh, we say at least by 3 p.m. because uh, some of those classes do extend past 3 p.m. For example, if your student takes a biology course, there's a lab, and that class doesn't end until 4.50. Um, those are things that we talk about with you when we actually work on the actual registration for your student. Um, students are allowed to drive themselves, but they do have to get a parking permit. Uh, they don't have to pay for that, but they do have to have it on their car so we can um, keep track of their vehicle in case something happens. It is college transfer credit, so you have to earn a C or better for that credit to transfer. Um, and it is high school elective credit. So we need to remember that this is a dual enrolled program. It is not meant to replace high school. This is to provide you college access, as well as giving you that college experience at a much lower cost. So uh, courses and grades do get put on your high school transcript. And the course does have to be three credits or more to go on your high school transcript. Uh, we do have one course in our college transfer that is one credit. And so that one doesn't go, but it's a great course to get your student ready for the college life. Uh, the math courses do meet the fourth math requirement, and then foreign language does meet the UNC minimum admissions requirement. We do have supports here available to help your students. Uh, our disability support service, they are out there. The, um, students that need support should reach out to that office prior to the semester starting to get all the paperwork in order uh, to get your student any support they may need from that office. Uh, the Student Learning Center does offer tutoring and academic support to students with their FTCC ID. Uh, that's something that uh, when they enroll in the program, they'll have the opportunity to go to the public safety office and get their ID. Um, and that, that tutoring academic support is free for your student, both in person and online options. Of course, we have a library, um, an open computer lab, and our UTAC Center. We send a lot of our seniors over there in the spring of their senior year to kind of discuss their options for transferring. They have, you know, connections to the institutions and they can help them kind of look at those options and see how their uh, credits are going to transfer. 
So why high school connections? Uh, so this is where we're going to talk about costs. So we talked about how high school connections has the student fee uh, and the cost of textbooks. So uh, both of these um, institutions are popular institutions in North Carolina. And I got this information off of their in-state on-campus tuition. So at North Carolina A&T, to get a bachelor's in four years, you're going to spend about $91,000. That's a lot of money. <laughs> to get an associate's degree, it's about 50000 And then in App State, your bachelor's is going to cost you about $81,000. Um, same thing, their, uh, as their associate's was about $46,000. So that's a lot of money. And um, we know student debt is an issue. So um, if you're taking full advantage of high school connections, you can earn up to 33 credits. We do have some students that earn more, but that's typically what they earn. And then if you choose to, you can stay at Fayetteville Tech after high school, and you can get your associates for as little as about $4,000. So it can really save you a lot of money in the long run. Even if you only take it during high school connections, you'll save at least a year of your college education, which if we look back to this one, that's about $25,000 you can save just by taking full advantage of high school connections. So that's a lot of money um, that you can save and put back in your pocket. So. And then here are the next steps for you. So uh, high school connection career coaches are going to work with your high school to schedule a date. Uh, we do have almost every school's date scheduled. We are waiting to hear back from a few. Um, and we do have in the big A-frames, there's one at the back of the room. They're all over the, the, um, the lobby area. That is our most up-to-date schedule of when we will be out at high schools. Um, homeschool students, we will be having an event here on uh, Fayetteville Tech's campus for you since we don't have a place to go to um, help support you. At these events are when we talk specifically about the paperwork and what is going to happen with registration. This is where your student picks classes. This is where your student works with their guidance counselor to make sure it's going to fit their schedule. This is where we go through the actual registration portion so that we can get your students set up to start in the fall of their junior year. Um, and so that, that's kind of the next step there is to check with your guidance counselor. Every school does it a little bit differently and so um, what we would love for you to do today is to explore the programs that are available to your students. We have all of our certificate career technical education out there, as well as representatives from all of our general education college transfer areas that you can talk to about the courses in whichever pathway your student is in, um, interested in going in. And um, if they meet someone out there that they really enjoy that the idea of being in that pathway they can get that information and then when we're at their high school they can say hey you know i talked with um, dr bucky with fire protection and i'm super interested in going into that program or i talked with the um, engineering department and i really think i want to explore engineering so that's kind of the goal for tonight is for you to explore the opportunities available for your student and find out when we will be at your student's high school so that we can get your students set for the next steps. Our registration period opens, um, our first event is next week, so it opens after today. And so we are excited to help set your student up for success and we thank you all for coming out tonight and spending a little bit of your Thursday with us. Okay, awesome, thank you.